Hey, this is Mr. Chi. I want to explain the T-PMPQ, the Team Preparation for Module Pre-Quiz. Okay, you're going to go to the Instructions link, and there'll be a link to your um, T-PMPQ instructions down here. It says click on the link above to go to your group homepage. Once there, go to your group discussion board, and on the group discussion board, there'll be a T-PMPQ forum. Okay, so I'm just going to click on that. A shortcut to get there, though, is on the left side of the screen where it says uh, uh, My Groups uh, Team, but uh, I'll just click on it this way. But let me just quickly point out that shortcut here on the left. It's this this one right there. Okay, so there's a TPMPQ, and the instructions are located on this thread here. Okay, and it says that the T-PMPQ PQ questions are attached to this message at the bottom. Okay, so they're attached at this uh, as this RTF file. So you can click on it, and I'm going to um, save it to my computer. Okay, so while it's doing that, I want to go over these other instructions. So the TPMPQ is identical to your I-PMPQ that was due earlier, but it's graded separately. So um, you're going to take it again with your team, but in order to take it with your team, you need to tell your team um, how you answered each of the questions. That's why uh, the questions here is important to download to see um, what the questions are that your team spokesperson will uh, use to enter your team's answers and submit to get the team score and the team quiz. Okay, so the file, let's go look at it and open it up. Let's see, downloads. So the file is a little bit big. It's actually pretty big. It's over uh, one megabyte because it has those pictures of the graphs in it. And when you end up saving the file, uh, make sure you save it if you're the spokesperson as the rich text format, um, which has the three letter extension at the end of RTF. Okay, so let me open it up. Okay, so it has instructions for the team spokesperson. Um, you can ignore those if you're not that team spoke spokesperson. And um, here's the first question. Okay, so select all apply. You can uh, just uh, try to either remember what you did or I'll show you where to actually find out how you answered those questions. Okay, so let's do that actually. So let's find out how we answered the quiz questions. Again, those questions that you just saw for the team P and PQ are the exact same as uh, what you, uh, the questions you saw for the I P and PQ, the individual preparation for module pre quiz. Okay, to see how you answer those questions on the individual P and PQ, just go back to where you submitted your I P and PQ, and there's a couple more links for the T P and PQ that I just added there. If you click on this link to the I P and PQ, and then click on begin. It's actually going to give you a screen saying that you already submitted it. Click on view all attempts. And it's hard to see here, but there is a link to find out how you answered each of the questions. Okay, so here's uh, the first question. And it tells you how you answer the question on the first line. So you, uh, uh, so I pick C for it. It doesn't tell you which is the right answer for the second question. The first line tells you what you picked, and these are the all the answer choices. Okay, so that can help you um, remember how you answered uh, each of the questions here. Okay, so what you need to do is to go into the group discussion board for the TPMPQ, share your answers, discuss them, so that when your spokesperson goes to submit answers on behalf of your team by the deadline, um, your team will have discussed the answers and picked the best answers uh, for each of those questions. Okay, so to go back to the discussion board to discuss those answers, click on that same link, or you can take that shortcut that I mentioned, this group discussion board shortcut, and go directly there. Okay, so I'm going to go back to this TPMPQ discussion forum. And I can either create a thread or I can click on that um, instruction message. It's up to you. 
and click on reply and your teammates will um, read uh, what you wrote and what you want to write again is how you answered each of the questions. So what I recommend doing is say, um, here are my answers to the quiz questions. And then number one, uh, what did we answer C? Number two, I think we also answered C. And what you can do is you can elaborate. You can say, I am pretty sure about this question. Uh, and then you can even reference the textbook if you want. And then maybe you're not as sure. Okay, and then what you're, and then so on. Okay, so then what your teammates will do is do the same thing. And your uh, team spokesperson's responsibility is to facilitate discussion. If there's any disagreements, he can uh, post a message to call attention to the disagreement and then propose a solution so that in time, uh, in time for to meet the deadline, your spokesperson will have a better idea of what the answers are so that your team can score a higher uh, grade on the, the quiz. Now, the instructions for the spokesperson um, are in this link here. Uh, so if you're the spokesperson, uh, please read through those. If your spokesperson's unresponsive, um, choose one of your, uh, the, next per the next alternate on the list um, for this module. So the list of alternates, if you go back to the group discussion board um, and go to the icebreaker uh, link here um, in the instructions message posted there by me, Winston Chi, um, it lists the the spokesperson and alternates. Okay, please uh, let me know if you have any questions. Um, my email's uh, same as before. Thanks and good luck. Bye-bye.